Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create SSRS report with date time by using a standard subscription in the reporting services. So let's go to the report manager and here we have a report called Tooltip Chart Report. Now preview this report, we see a chart. We are going to create a subscription for this report. When this report will be exported to a folder, it will add date time to it. Now right click, sorry, click here and go to subscribe select uh, option for uh, report delivery and we would like to have in windows file share next uh, we will be providing uh, the report name in my case uh, i'm fine with tooltip uh, chart report uh, then i'm going to add underscore at the rate timestamp uh, that part is going to add uh, the date time to it uh, now here we will be providing the UNC path. So for my machine, it is uh, if I will go to run and it is Amir PC backslash C drive and uh, that's where my drive. In your case, it could be any name. So your PC name or your node name or machine name and then you will be providing A or B or C whatever or H drive or Z drive and dollar sign. Then you will be providing the folder. So in my case, uh, let's open this one. If I open, I need to go to users Amir and I'm going to go to the videos in this folder. I would like to create uh, this uh, file for uh, this uh, report. So I'm going to paste that here and uh, select a format. Let's do the PDF uh, for now and uh, then provide the credential. So provide the username and password that has the permission uh, on this uh, folder to check the permission of a folder you can go to the folder right click properties and select security if you have that user right there and check the permissions it should have at least read write permissions so in my case it has a write permissions read permission as well so I'm fine go back to your report manager and uh, you would like to overwrite an existing file with newer version because it is going to create uh, the file every time so it doesn't really matter so it's fine because that will not be existing next time when we will create it and uh, we are good if uh, you would like to select uh, the schedule okay daily on every day at uh, uh, what time it is fine and uh, p.m. is fine now okay and this is all good hit okay now we have created uh, the schedule how we would check uh, if the report is created uh, by the with the timestamp uh, so what we can do we can go to the sql server and then uh, in the sql server we will see a job uh, created by that uh, subscription uh, so you can go here in the report server database go to the uh, tables uh, and then uh, one of the table called the uh, dbo subscriptions you can select uh, and take a look on that one and here is our subscription record from here you can see the path where it will be saved and uh, now it is never been executed as of now it is new subscription fine but uh, we can run this subscription by using this uh, job so every time you create a new subscription it is going to create a, a SQL server agent uh, job you can double click on the SQL server agent job and also check few things like a step or schedule so you can see it is running on each of the day and uh, if you go expand this a little bit you will see at 8 a.m. so that's uh, how you would tell like okay this uh, job is related to the subscri subscription you have created also you can write a query to find out uh, the subscriptions that you have created and for which uh, reports uh, so you can google it that part and uh, search for that query let's uh, right click and run this uh, job so once you run this job it's going to initiate that uh, subscription and it should create uh, a file in that uh, folder so here is that uh, file so we can uh, take a look uh, one thing if you notice here it, tool tip chart 2015 11 and then we have time here uh, 5 uh, 19 18 and at, there is a T so it uh, when I was creating that subscription I put tam time stamp and I added T at the end that was wrong so let me okay here is our report now let's go back fix that part so let's go to the subscription again sorry let's go to manager and if we go to manage we will see our subscriptions and here is our subscription 
and I added time stamped. So T was T shouldn't be there. Only I need to add at the rate time stamp. So that's all we need. We are all good here. It's saved. Okay. If we are making some changes, you have to enter the password. I'm gonna add the password and save it. All good. Now we come back and we can run from here as well. Run the job. It is going to execute and create a new file in the folder. So let's go back and take a look. So this is a new file. It is a created and this is our chart. So this is how you will be creating your uh, report, excuse me, that will have this uh, time added to it. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.